welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. It promises to be a fun fight while it lasts. Um, Alexis Rocha uh, and Santiago Dominguez, fairly unknown fighter who we've seen on Golden Boy cards and a few other places. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookies. The odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to say I consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the lock of the week. The lock of the week hit again last week. We hit every single week with the lock of the week. Uh, it's a phenomenal way to make money. You get a second source of income just betting boxing on the sport you love. Um, and uh, also, request a, request I do a video. Ask the bookie anything. You get access to all that and more. You get access to... The best prop bets, like uh, for this fight, the, the, the Alexis Roca fight, they haven't dropped the uh, props yet. So once the props come out, I'm going to show you how to make money on Roca knocking out Santiago Dominguez. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, so let's get into Alexis Rocha. Good fighter, 24-2. We've seen him a lot. He's, he's one of Golden Boy's most highlighted fighters, especially coming off the Blair Cobbs fight, which was already over two years ago. He's been active since. Uh, that was in, in March of 2022. Since then, he's fought one, two, three, four, five, six times, going five and one with the lone defeat, Giovanni Santiago. And I feel like that was kind of an outlier. Although, he, he stepped up twice with Santion, um and with uh, Rashidi Ellis, uh, and, and he's lost both. Now, Rashidi Ellis was, was close and competitive, uh, so I, I didn't really, and I, I think highly of Rashidi Ellis. So I, I didn't hold that against him too much. He looked better since then against limited competition. The Santion fight was eye-opening, right? Because I didn't think too much of Santion, and then in Santion's next fight, he got dominated by uh, Brian Norman. So I, I don't think too much of him. That's why this fight was alarming. Now he, he came back and he destroyed. Frederick Lawson, but in his previous fight, Frederick Lawson got knocked out at about a minute by Virgil Ortiz, so I wouldn't put uh, too much stock in that either. Um, Alexis Roca uh, is, I'm losing it here, 24 and 2, 16 knockouts, good puncher, good offensive fighter, southpaw, not a ton of lateral movement, but a good offensive fighter. His head is usually on a line, but he, he does, he's got a little flexibility to him, he's got a little mobility to him make you miss a little bit, especially early. He does fatigue, it seems, he gets hit a lot later in the fight. He does create distance well. Uh, with the shoulder, he's physically strong. He can kind of push you off with the shoulder and, and then get you in range to hit you. Uh, he, he's physically strong. Come forward guy, skilled on the inside. Good combinations on the inside. Defensively, he, can, he blocks shots and he can duck a little bit on the inside. He's durable, good power, but he does take a lot of shots. He gets hit more than you would like, and Really, really good fighters don't get hit a lot. Top-notch fighters don't get hit a lot. And he gets hit a lot. A lot more than he would like. He's an aggressive guy. He's come forward. He, he commits to his shots. He throws really hard shots. He has got a really, really stiff shotgun jab that I like a lot. He's a little slow and a little unathletic. Uh, but it's not so bad to the point where he can't move. Good power in both hands. Good timing shots. Uh, he, he picks his shots really, really well. He he picks his shots extremely well. He's a pressure fighter. He's a come forward guy with a little bit of skills on the inside. Throws some nice shots uh, that eats too much. I mean, he is what he is. He commits to his shots. He throws hard, and he's got a good chance. He's going to make a fun fight. Uh, and, and whether or not that's good enough to win is really more indicative on who he's fighting. Because he's going to beat the bad fighters, and he's going to lose the good fighters. Now, the question is, is Santiago... Dominguez a good fighter or not a good fighter? And the answer is he's not a very good fighter. Uh, Kung Fu, he, he, he's similar to Rocha in a lot of ways. He's just not nearly as good. Uh, Kung Fu guy, nice jab, doesn't use it nearly enough. Good, good clean combination puncher, good offensive fighter. A lot of these things are going to sound like I'm talking about Rocha. Um, he's sort of slow. He, he fights in a crouch. He leaves himself wide open to be counted. He throws his shots. They're, they're slow and, and deliberate, and you can see him coming. He's easy to be counted. He's easy to time. Uh, on the inside, they're nice and short. Though. He's got a really nice uppercut on the inside. Good power. Uh, he's a front foot fighter. He's just not as skilled and not as polished 
as Roger, but he fights in a similar way. He gets a little wild and, and, and a little sloppy, and he walks straight in, and he gets tagged a lot. He's just too easy to hit, and he doesn't jab it off. He's slow in plotting. He's straight in, straight out, head on the line, throws wide, doesn't jab. You know, it's just not like he's working his way in. He's physically strong, too, and he's got a good gas tank. You know, the the, the goal, the plan here, would I, I would guess, would be to drag him into deep waters and, 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 and try to get him out late because he does, you know, have some power. But he's not that good enough, and I, I ultimately think he is going to get stopped at some point in this fight, right? Like, he's an offensive fighter. He's a fun fighter, come forward guy. He's got some decent skills on the inside, but he's not skilled at getting on the inside. He's going to get tagged a lot, and Russia can hit – and Russ is a skilled offensive fighter who's ultimately going to capitalize on him. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're making money on this fight. The odds on this are not terrible. Um, pull this up for y'all. Roach is minus 450, which I, I think is close. Now... A lot of people are going to hold that Santiago performance against him, and, and, and I understand that. But I, I think this is a fight that you could definitely make a two times bet on. Which in this case, two hundred dollar bet would make you forty four forty four, which is not terrible. But this is exactly the type of bet you want to add to a parlay. This is something that you can build your parlay around. If you're looking to get close to even odds, like under you know minus two hundred to plus two hundred, this is a fight you want to put on it. You want to build around this, and then you put a couple of you know minus nine hundred, minus seven hundred type fights around it. But this is really good odds for a parlay. Minus four fifty, you can build up a nice little three leg, four leg parlay with a bunch of safe bets. Because minus four fifty, it's not terrible. I definitely think Roka is going to win this fight. Uh, he's a better fighter, cleaner fighter. So I would definitely look to, to put Roker in this. Um, let me know what you guys think uh, as far as, as that, Roker. And, and also, I, I think he wins by stoppage. I really do. I think he wins by stoppage. So when those drop, those props drop, uh, let's join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. Join the Patreon. It's just files a month. Let's take a look at how to make additional money on the stoppage as well, which I think is a terrific bet. Um Oh, I just closed that up. All right, so it's minus 450 on the money line. We don't have the props yet, but once we do, come up, join the Patreon, and uh, let's take a look at how to make money on the props. So, you know, I do like road trip by stoppage. Let's see what the over-under is at. Let's see what the stop is at. Let's take a look at all those odds and make the best bet possible. But for this, a, a great bet um, is Rocha on the money line. It's terrific to build your parlay around. It's safe. He's definitely going to win. He's a much better fighter. Leave your questions, thoughts, comments below. Um, I'm losing. I, I can't even think. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions below. It is July 17th, 2024. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.